others that they were the best gift. This one of the best gifts that will transform, transform your life. And that is the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking with tongues. This is not, this is nothing to be afraid of. This is a this is a great gift. A gift that everyone in here should want. And, and if you don't have it, you need it. Amen. You need it. Because without this gift, you really don't have that power. You want that Holy Ghost power. You want the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now why they chose me to stand up here? Because I'm not that bold, but the Holy Spirit is bold. Amen. He's bold. Yes. So I told him. He just wanted this to be told to you on Mother's Day. And he's offering this gift. He wants you to have this gift. He wants you to have this power. Now, now keep reading and watch what happened when after they were after they were filled with the Holy Holy Ghost. I keep saying Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, but see what happened. They had all kinds of power. Not the God. They they prayed for people. People got healed. You, it's just so much. It's just so much that happened. Yes, there's a lot of confusion about people in tongues. And a lot of times they are misused. I know that when we used to be in the other building, we had a couple that would come in and, and they would come in, walk in, sit down, and then all of a sudden he, he would go off into the tongue. Just just loud, just going on and on and on. He was out of order. But then we had a doctor that used to be with us and during the service, and it was the worship service, the Holy Spirit would give her a message for the church. She was speaking in her tongue, but then she would uh, she was interpreted in English. Because another Sunday she be able, but God didn't want her to interpret, so he used Pastor Reeves to interpret. So yes, it is a gift for today. And you need that power. A lot of you Christians are sitting here defeated. You're living defeated lives every day of the day. And it doesn't have to be that way. Trust me, it does not have to be that way. So that's the gift that he told me to offer to you, and I hope you accept it. Father, I just give you the praise. I give you all the honor for today. Father, I thank you that you trusted me enough to give this message to me to give to your people. And so, Father, I bless you, I praise you, and I honor you in Jesus' name. Let's give God praise.